Hey guys, today I am so excited because we finally got our prints in for the gallery wall. So we already took one of the frames off to just like preliminarily look at it, but I'm gonna show you guys all the prints and then we are going to put them in finally because we've had these up with like these weird little butterflies. Well, they're not weird, they're pretty, but obviously it's like not what our vision was. So I told you guys last time that we were in between just like getting regular prints like from somewhere online or doing our wedding photos. And so we decided to go with our wedding photos because I just thought it'd be like nice. I don't know. So we don't really have any photos of us at all anywhere in the house. So I was like, all right, let's do our wedding photos here and then we can always change them out. Eventually we want to go for like a different vibe or something, but I'm really excited. And we did them all in black and white. So I'll show you guys them because I've obviously shared photos from our wedding on Instagram, but I don't think I've ever really showed them on YouTube at all, like even my main channel. So this might be the first time some of you guys have seen them. Okay, so this is the first one. This was like us in the ballroom. So you guys will see for the pictures, I couldn't find anywhere online that had like the 16 by 16 cutout, which is what we need. So I got 16 by 20, cause that seems to be like a more popular size. So then they'll just be cut obviously in here, which is fine by me. I kind of picked pictures that I thought would work okay with that. Once it's like actually inside of the frame and we got them from CVS, they're pretty affordable and they did it fast. And the prints are like really good quality. They're not grainy or anything at all, which I like. So this was us in the ballroom before everybody came in. And then we have, this was just like a photo that we took outside. This was Steven and I during our first dance. There's a couple photos you guys will see that have these like sparkles in the background. Our photographer at the end of the night asked us to go outside because it was actually raining. And I really didn't want to because I was like, I don't want to get my dress wet. I don't want to get my hair wet. And he was like, no, it's really going to make for beautiful photos. Like, trust me. So I did. And it really created such pretty photos because like these little things in the background that look like sparkles are actually rain. Um, this is like trees that had lights on them, but that. So I really love that photo. I have it as like my phone back screen. <laughs> Just like a little close up shot of Steven and I. I kind of hate the way that I look in this, but I thought it was a good picture of Steven. So I was like, all right, we'll Is get it. it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's nice of Steven. I don't like the way my face looks, but I thought we needed like an up close one. Another little cute one of us. Steven's like laughing at me, but it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> this one's more of like a chic little like glamor shot. I don't know, I want to do one like cool one. So this was us in like this parlor room area that they had at our venue. And then this one is one of my absolute favorites. This was really the really pretty one that came when we were outside when it was raining because you see all the rain in the background and it's like in front of our venue. Um, and I thought it looked really nice and came out really pretty. So I was happy. You can see my hair is like flat at this point because I'm in the rain. <laughs> so I wasn't happy about that, but it was worth it. It was right at the end of the night, so it didn't really matter. And get the dress dry cleaned anyways, so. Yeah, those are the photos. So I'm gonna go and put them into all of the frames up here. And then I will show you guys once it is complete. Okay, we just finished. I literally love it. I'm so happy we chose to do like our wedding photos, you know? Yeah, I just, good. Cause it like adds a little bit of like a personal touch cause we don't really have that anywhere else. Right. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Here is the completed wall with all the pictures. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like it looks so nice. The frames fit really well and all the photos just look so pretty in here. And we can just like reminisce. Yeah, some of them we have to like straighten and stuff, but we just wanted to get them up today at least. Yeah. Then we can always perfect them. I can switch them around too. I tried to put them in an order that I liked, but yay. And I will link these frames down below um, from where I got them on Amazon if you guys want to check that out. I don't know if any of you guys want these for your house, but love the way that it looked coming together. Now we're about to run to the store. I have to get some apps because some of our friends are coming over to watch some of the playoff games today. Um, sadly, we're Giants fans because oh, we live in New Jersey. <laughs> They're nowhere near being in the playoffs, but we still like to like watch football and stuff with our friends. So a couple of them are coming over. So I'm just gonna go run to the store and get some apps and snacks and stuff. And we're gonna watch some of the games and have a relaxing little Sunday. Hey guys. So it is a couple days later. It is Friday and I am getting ready right now because Steven and I are going for a little like weekend getaway with our friends. I'm really excited. We are going to the Catskills. Also, can we look at this brush? The like, <laughs> this part of the brush like came apart. So I'm just using the top. But we're going to the Catskill Mountains, which is in like uh, upstate New York, which I've never, I've been to upstate New York, but never to the Catskills. So we are going there this weekend to like have a little ski snowboard weekend. So I'm really excited. Today has not been a very good day though. Started out pretty rough. Honestly, it's like more so my fault that I'm unprepared, but so to make a long story short, Steven and I both snowboard. Um, Steven has been more recently than I have. Last time I went snowboarding, or I should say I used to snowboard. Um, last time I went, 
was senior year of high school because in high school we had like a ski club and it was like a really popular thing. A lot of people did it. And so I had never been skiing in my life, but I joined ski club my sophomore year. Also partly because this was before Steven and I started dating and I liked him. I had like a crush on him and I knew he did it. So that's why I signed up, even though I had never been skiing or snowboarding in my life. And basically just like every other weekend after school, they would drive us to like a local mountain in New Jersey and we would go skiing or snowboarding or whatever for a couple hours. And it was like a fun little thing, but I have not been since, but I still have like all my stuff cause I did it for three years in high school. And our friends are big skiers. They really like to go. So they've been wanting to go with us for a couple years. So we're going this weekend. Um, we got a really cute Airbnb, so I'll show you guys all that. But I have my snowboard and I have my boots, so that's at least a big part of it. Steven found them for me, thank goodness. But I couldn't find like my pants, jacket, like any of like my snow attire, and I don't really have that. Um, Cause normally, you know, I have the luxury obviously of being able to work from home. So when it snows, I just don't go outside, you know, uh, for the day or whatever. I don't really need like snow attire cause I'm not normally like trekking through it. So I ordered this snowsuit off Amazon and the, normally you guys know, I love Amazon. Like I am a big fan of Amazon. I order everything off there, but this one was really one of those like Instagram versus reality or like what you see online versus what you get are completely different. I ordered a snowsuit. It was like one of those cute, like one piece snowsuits. And it is super cute, like, but I feel like it's meant for somebody that wants to like take an Instagram photo in a snowsuit standing on snow and then like go immediately inside. Like it was really thin and there was just no possible way, no matter how much I put underneath it, that this thing was gonna keep me warm. And I didn't even think, it says it's waterproof, but I don't even think so. Like the material was super sketch and it was like 170 bucks or something. So I was kind of like, what the heck? So I ordered that and unfortunately made the mistake of not even taking it out of the packaging until last night at like two o'clock in the morning when I was trying to get my stuff together to pack and realized that I was like, there's no way I can wear this. So I'm getting ready right now. And then we are gonna pack the car. Actually, Steven, I think is packing up like the snowboard stuff now. And then we're gonna head over to like a Dick's Sporting Goods or something to hopefully be able to find me like snow pants or, or like something. Cause I have like jackets, like obviously I have big like puffer jackets. So I'm just like, I packed a few of those and I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just wear one of these. But I need like the pants itself, especially cause I guarantee that I'll probably fall multiple times. Cause it's been a long time since I've done this. So I do need something that's like actually waterproof and of decent ability to keep me warm because it's also supposed to be like 15 degrees. I'm also realizing this foundation match, I'm trying a new foundation today and it is a horrendous match on me. So please disregard that. I can fix it later, but I'm not gonna have time right now. But I'm looking in the camera and I'm like, Whoa. although I will say this camera always kind of makes you look more orange. You actually have here in person, but I feel like I look orange in this light. Um, Anyways, and I'm over here just trying to like pack up my makeup and stuff. I literally have a full suitcase, like one of the bags that you would check on an airplane, but it's because I don't know like what pants I'm gonna buy. So I had to bring like three jackets and like all that stuff is big. And like, I have like big sweaters cause it's supposed to be so cold up there. Um, like I think tonight it said it was supposed to feel like negative 20. I don't think that's like not the actual temperature, but that's what it's supposed to feel like. So really, really cold. So I have a lot of big bulky stuff. So I literally have like a full suitcase. I'm sure Steven has like the tiniest duffel bag <laughs> with his stuff, but normally I'm actually a very good packer. Like my friends always say that about me. I feel like people would think that I would like overpack stuff, but I really don't. We travel so much that I've gotten to be a good packer, but this weekend I just feel like, cause I don't know what I'm wearing. It's like a disaster, but it would be much easier to just be a boy and have like two toiletries <laughs> this big. I'm like, as I'm doing my makeup, I'm putting everything in my makeup bag. Like, do I need this? Will I even do really my makeup when we're up there? No, probably not. So I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna throw a little scrunchie in here and then I think we're good. All right, let's go see what progress even has made on his packing. And we can hopefully get out of here sometime soon. Like why in the world do I need a suitcase literally this big? Oh my gosh. And I have to bring my backpack too because I'm bringing my laptop because I normally upload on Sundays. So we'll still be there on Sunday and I'm not missing Sunday's upload. So bringing my laptop on my main channel um, to get that up. So you guys will probably have seen that video by the time this one goes live. Steven as expected, all packed. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I know, I don't know why I have so many things, but. I told them because I don't know what I'm wearing. Well, yeah, like 10 outfits, or not 10, but like three different outfits. Because I just don't know what the pants are going to be like. Like I have oh, to just right. buy whatever they have. So who knows what color they'll be and whatever. We have like a jacket that's like waterproof and like... Yes, whatever. Steven. <laughs> not just fashion jackets, you know what I mean. Yes, yes, I do. So you're all packed and everything? I think so. All right, so let's do your toiletries and we'll get out of here. Sounds good. All right, before we leave, we wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of this portion of today's video, which is Hawthorne. We've talked to you guys about them before. Y'all know Steven loves yeah, them. I do, yeah. And I love them too, yeah. being his wife. <laughs> 
because <laughs> they always smell so good. If you guys haven't seen our previous videos where we've talked to you about Hawthorne, it's basically a premium tailored personal care brand. You basically just take a quiz on their website, answer some questions about yourself and your preferences, and they'll pick products for you and send them straight to your door each month. I just sent some new body wash and shampoo. I'm definitely gonna bring on the trip. It smells great, it feels great in the shower. Because Steven used to use four in one or whatever yeah. it was. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now we've worked on separating the product. Right. So he always smells nice. And the quiz will tailor all that kind of stuff for you. It asks you all questions like, you know, how often do you shower? What type of hair do you have? What type of skin do you have? So it can custom tailor these products to you based on your body chemistry. And it's really nice because it's risk-free. They send you something and you don't happen to like it, then they'll reformulate it and send you something different that you will hopefully like better. Which is nice. Say so you put on the wrong preference or something, you want to change, change it up. Right, so it is nice to know that. And it's free shipping and everything, which is awesome as well. What would you say your favorite product is? The body wash or? Yeah, the body wash or cologne. They both smell great. Oh yeah, yeah. the, the cologne is it. nice too. Yeah. Which cologne do you have? I have the work one. I can't really describe the scent, but it's custom <laughs> made to like my preference I put in through the quiz. I'm so bad at describing scents too. Like, yeah. I don't know. Some people are so good. They're like, oh, it's woodsy with a little bit of musk. I'm like, uh, I don't know what it that It smells means. good. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Hawthorne hooked us up with a great deal for you guys. You guys can go to hawthorne.co and use promo code Kelly Steven for 10% off of your first purchase. That's Hawthorne, H-A-W-T-H-O-R. N -E .co. Promo code Kelly Steven, Hawthorne.co, Kelly Steven, 10% off of your first purchase. I'll have it all linked down below in the description <laughs> nice box. Nice and easy. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to go? Yeah, man. All right. Let's, let's go. go. Whenever we travel, I always have to get the welcome sign. <laughs> Yay. Welcome to New York. <laughs> Steven's driving. I'm about to get my computer out, so I have some work. But we are on our way and hoping we don't hit a lot of traffic as the cars are all breaking in front of us. Oh God. Okay, I'm beyond excited because this is like kind of, it's far from our house. It's like over two hours. So we have a long car ride obviously. And I just realized that Alex Cooper dropped episode two of the Jamie Lynn Spears interview. Have any of y'all been like keeping up with that? Because I listened to episode one um, and it was like crazy. So I'm definitely interested. I think we're gonna listen to episode two now. Even Steven's interested in it. Yeah, I just like, I don't know what's going on. So it'd be cool to, I guess not cool, but interesting to see. Like, yeah. The backstory. Like know. her take, I guess on it. Cause we watch obviously like I was such a big Britney Spears fan growing up and everything that has gone on is so incredibly sad and just crazy. And um, we watched the documentary like on Netflix, like the I don't know, what was it? Like, something Britney. It was on Netflix or something else? I don't know, one of those services, yeah. Yeah, it was either Netflix or Hulu, like the documentary, um, like the free Britney, basically, documentary, yeah. and it was just, like, insane, like, everything that it said. So the podcast has been super interesting. I'm not really a podcast, like, person, but recently I started listening to more, and this one is, like, very interesting. So we're about to listen to it. I don't think I can, like, play it, obviously, because it's, like, copyright, I would assume, but I'm going to listen to it and see... Okay, it's super dark. We just finished watching the podcast. We officially are not watching, but listening. I'll like shine this light on my face so you guys can see. Um, we officially lost service. So yeah, we have no service up here, which is a little scary, but there is Wi-Fi once we get to the house. This is like a legit like log cabin. I'm really hoping that it's cute because you know, you never know what to expect with Airbnb, but oh, it looks cute online. Um, like a little cabin, so. Okay, we just got here, and aside from it being freezing, it's like really, really cold, so I need to find where the AC unit is to like jack that up a little bit. Um, it's so cute though, like I'm actually really happy. I was a little scared, because when we first pulled up, the driveway was like basically still completely covered with snow and stuff, so I was like, oh goodness. But the inside's so cute, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. So when you come in the front door, you see the little kitchen area here. It looks like they left us. A little something. Oh, like some coffee beans and some granola. And then just like some stuff, I guess, about the house. Super cute. Um, and then over here is just kind of like the main hangout area, which is really nice in the fireplace, which we'll hopefully get going. There's like little stairs over there. I haven't really even looked over here. Fridge. Oh, is there two fridges? Oh no, that's just the only fridge. Um, oh, cute. Let me turn the light on. Little area for us to like have dinner, play some games and stuff. I think that goes to outside. I can't really see the outside because it's really dark out right now, but I think there's supposed to be like a fire pit or something. It's a little bedroom over here, which looks nice. And then all the rest of the bedrooms are upstairs. So I'll bring you guys up there to see. They're all like pretty much similar. So I'll show you guys. I just grabbed this bedroom. Thought it was cute, like the little fireplace. And then there's a little extra area to hang some clothes, which is nice. And there's another like bigger room over here. 
somebody else can take. This is like the only TV, which is a little weird because it's kind of in this little <laughs> closet area of this bigger bedroom. Um, but yeah, there's this other bedroom here. It's like so cute and cabiny. Cute little hall bathroom for everybody to use upstairs. There is only one bathroom up here and I think there's another one downstairs. And then one last other room over here. So yeah, our friend should be here soon. I'm very excited. Oh, I just realized there's actually no actual rooms up here. Look, do you see that? Like it's all open. I didn't notice that until <laughs> right now. Wow, okay, kind of interesting. Hmm. Morning, you guys. So it is the next morning. I just look ravishing at the moment. Um, <laughs> I'm getting ready. We're gonna head to the mountain in a little bit. I'm just putting like a little bit of makeup on. I don't know if you guys can see Steven behind me. Hey. You getting excited to go? Yeah. <laughs> Steven's been trying to get me to go back snowboarding for years now, so I think he's excited. We're gonna start off small, I think, maybe like Bunny Hill, and then we'll go and meet the rest of our friends on like the regular mountain part, right? That's the plan, right? <laughs> yeah. Steven's gonna, it's like a refresher. Like, I feel like it's like, you know how they say that saying, like riding a bike, you never forget or whatever. I feel like snowboarding maybe is like that. It's supposed to be. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I know, we'll see. <laughs> I just don't want to get hurt. That's my biggest concern, but I think it'll be fun. My lips are also like literally shriveling up. I need like a um, lip oil or something. It's like so cold here. And then the heat is like, we're trying to like blast the heat. Cause this house is like not really insulated, I don't think. So even as high as you put the heat, it doesn't really get that warm. Like I think the thing over there says 89 degrees. Like it is definitely not 89 degrees in here, but I feel like it's just drying out my skin and my lips are like so dry. All right, so I'm going to finish up getting ready and then we will see you guys at the mountain. All right, we are heading out. The amount of layers that I'm wearing right now is insanity. I'm about to be the warmest girl on all the slopes. <laughs> I literally have three sweatshirts, two Under Armour shirts, and then four pairs of pants on and this big jacket. So I'm feeling warm because it is very cold. So we'll see you guys when we get to the mountain. Ah! How cute is my little snowboard, guys? Haven't seen this since high school. <laughs> little pinky purple moment. All my stuff is literally from high school, <laughs> but it still works. Hey guys, Steven is loading up the boards. I don't know if you can see him back there. We are tired. We're about to just go grab some dinner and head home. Thank you guys so much as always for watching our vlogs. We love you guys so much and we'll see you very soon in our next vlog. Bye.